This is a video you didn't know you needed. After a very impressive review with the Wilson 2022 launch pad irons, I had a bit of an idea. What would happen if we put this up against this? The fact that that's even a thing must mean one thing only. It's time for toe to town. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. I am looking forward to this because I think this is going to put a few well there's going to be a few surprise faces out there with this because you're naturally going to think this launch pad is going to go absolutely miles and it probably will who knows especially when you can compare it to the bare bones the beautiful mirrors in my bag the MB 101s two irons on the completely polar opposites north and south blade super game improvement it doesn't really get any further apart than these two which really makes this very interesting. Like I said in the review, I will be taking these out on the golf courses and I cannot wait, I really can't. So what we're gonna do, instead of going through every single bag, we're gonna have a head-to-head -head comparison here. We're gonna start with the pitching wedge, very important to know how they perform, blade to a super game improvement iron. Then we're gonna go to an eight iron, and then we're gonna to go to a six iron, and, and obviously the crescendo of performance, progress, the progression of performance, what are you talking about? It's not just about head to head, it's how it progresses through the bag, is what I meant. And again guys, it's kind of a useless video at the same time because you wouldn't be putting these head to head in any other way. Um, if you're going, you wouldn't be looking at an old launch pad iron but also an MB101, would you? Oh, let's go. Sound and feel I'll talk through as we're doing the shots, but I think that's going to be quite surprising, especially from the review. Um, the launch pad was not what I expected. Definitely more iron-like than I expected, which is fantastic. And, and again, the tech sheet would probably look like this if you're gonna compare them. A huge list on one side and then just no on the other. But that's what makes the MB101 as pure. It is pure, pure forging processness. So we're starting with the pitching wedge, the rocket. a better strike but it is like literally point and hit i reckon the gaps would get bigger the uh, longer the iron as we go through we'll soon see but the pad section on this with the pitching wedge is going to play a big big role because obviously you're naturally steeper with the shorter stuff so the pad will play a very important part <laughs> my pitching wedge look at that Ugh. So one thing I noticed straight away, this feels like less head weight. So it's all weighted the whole way through, like quite a balanced weighting where the launch pad, very rewarding feeling in regards, lighter shaft, and obviously due to the size of the head, more head weight. So we won't do this for every iron because otherwise the video will be 40 minutes but what I'm going to do is pitching wedge, 8 iron and then 5 iron so lower, mid and then longer for a proper comparison. Very like same club head speed, 109 ball with the uh, launch pad to my 102 with my own iron. So we have actually got a few degrees here and um, I tend to launch my blade pitching wedge quite high so I'm not really surprised that this has beaten it. Um, if you look at the graph here we've got the red as a launch pad We've got the blue as my iron. It's like the launch pad launches slightly lower and it just keeps continuing. It just keeps going. <laughs> Hence why we'll get to the distance you'll see. But uh, spin, absolutely nothing in it whatsoever, which is quite impressive for a launch pad. 128 my iron, 139. So we've got 11 yards more carry with the pitching wedge of the launch pad, which a beginner's going to need. Um, it's nice as long as you haven't sacrificed control and spin to get a bit more distance. That's incredible. Now then, this is definitely where I'd expect to see the distance gap increase. Um, don't know what that's going to do in, in, in terms of the numbers, but we're going to start with the launch pad 8 iron. It's quite remarkable, it still feels quite iron-like, which is amazing due to the size of it. My eight iron, the, the, the feeling is so odd. I can't explain it really. I can, like I say, it's just like a post. 
feels like a lamppost. You can't feel the head like I can with a launch pad. Okay, eight iron. Whew. 119.7 with my eight iron to 124 with the launch pad. Launch, not much in it, 0.6 in favor of the launch pad. Now the spin has really started to separate. This is the extreme, remember, on both sides. We've got a distant super game improvement iron chiseled out of a rock blade. <laughs> Um, still pretty impressive, 8 iron, 6,000, we're getting that launch again, it's going up in the air, but this is where the blade starts to give you a bit more zippage, we've got 7,195. What's interesting is the distance gap has stayed exactly the same, so we're still 11 carry, and a pretty big gap there in terms of total distance, so obviously that's due to spin, we're getting a lot more spin now with the blade, this is stopping quicker, where the launch pad is rolling out a little bit more, but this is the thing where an iron like this, it's still ample enough backspin, especially when we hit greens with a reaction. Can't wait to see that on the golf course. I wouldn't say a beginner golfer's got too much to worry about with, uh, with that. So, <laughs> rookie error. I thought it was five iron I had, I don't, it's, it's a sand wedge. It had an S and it was at a distance, so I thought it was a five, but no. Six iron's the longest we've got in this set. So we're going six iron for six iron, which is still think is going to be great. I'd rather actually six iron prefer, as this is a number we tend to hit in here. So six iron launch pad. Let's go. I did notice a bit of a tighter dispersion with my blades, but that's mainly because I'm not not as used to these. It doesn't mean it's not possible. I reckon it could be here. Definitely more than 11 yards. How much are these? <laughs> look, if a street was missing a lamppost and they wanted to know who took it, I'd have to look twice at this and be like, yeah, I don't think this is your lamppost. Oh, man, that's good. That feels beautiful. Ball speed 136.6 .6 with the launch pad to 131.9 when you compare the six irons. Launch now is getting quite impressive. We've got 17.2. These are the clubs, these are the sort of irons where beginners tend to have a bit of a struggle with launching. So it's nice to see you've got a bit more, the two degrees of extra launch coming from the same iron, even though these lofts are stronger. Remember that. Spin, again the gap, 5144 to 5433, which is Quite surprising actually, you know, I didn't hit my iron particularly great, but it was more of a, probably knocking down the spin a bit more and getting a bit more distance than what I should, so because of that, this gap's probably a little bit close, but I'd give that another 11, 11 yards really. I mean, it's nine on here, but again, like I say, a bit of turf before ball with my iron's gonna give it a less spin, a bit more oomph, so 10 yards total. So it's, the, the gapping has been consistent the whole way through. It's not been massive um, in terms of differences, and I'm glad to see that. It's a very playable iron still, the launch pad. It's so easy to look at this and be like, yeah, let's hit this to the moon with no spin. It's just gonna bounce off everything. But like I say, very interested to take these out on the golf courses. The reviews really impressed me, and this comparison as well has really put itself in, you know, it, there is a spot for this sort of golf club. It was, never gonna, it was never gonna perform the same as my blade, but uh, it just goes to show, head to head, the difference. So even if the, the launch pad isn't your kind of iron, I hope you find this interesting. Um, I did, for sure, because you never do know how a club's gonna perform really until you put them side by side with something. So guys, thank you as always for watching. If you did like this, please let me know in the comment section. We'll be having more toe to toes for sure coming up. If you're not part of Team Al, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, live streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Woo! We're, we're going to shorten that down, it's getting ridiculous.